Hello, everyone. This is Jeff Wilkerson, professor of physics at Luther College, bringing you another in a series of videos of, of how we might want to use Kaleidograph to make interesting and useful graphs. So I'm sharing with you a graph. Uh, uh, if you've seen graphs like this in some of my other videos, if you've seen other videos of what I would call a, a light curve of a variable star, uh, here it is. And you can see um, the, the axes along here. What we're going to do today is it's going to be a quick video to look at a couple of things we might want to do with axis manipulation in Kaleidograph. So first of all, some of this we'll have seen in other videos and some of it we will not have seen in other videos. So first of all, let's play around with the x-axis. We've already reversed the y-axis because magnitude counts backwards. And so let's play with the x-axis and look at a couple of things that we can do with the x-axis here. Um, so the first thing um, I'm going to do is I'm going to say I don't want those first couple of years in there. We looked at this before. So I'm going to start it at 1,000. Type and say OK. And I'm going to end it at about 6,600. Okay. So we've got we've, we've we've gotten rid of some of the fluff out on the ends. Actually, let's just say what the heck. Let's not. We had a gap year here where we didn't get get data. Let's say we want to just focus on the data that's in here. So let's make this go to about forty five thousand. Let's let's make that go to about fifty one hundred. Okay. So now we're looking at this region of, of data and say, so, yeah, we like what we see. It's kind of interesting data, uh, but. Suppose I wanted to make a, a wall plot of this, for example. Uh, I do that sometimes. Uh, I really want to expand this data out. One of the things I can do is I can come up here under plot and I can set the plot size. So I'll, I'll click on set plot size and I could change the axis size or the frame size, whatever I wanted to do. But I'm going to change the frame size and it'll drag the axis along with it. So you see it says that the Axis size is 7.50. It must say it's in inches up there. That's the unit. So we've got an axis of 7.50 inches. It would fit nicely on a piece of standard paper if we wanted to print it. But I want to print a big wall poster. So I'm going to make that uh, 27 inches across there. Oops. Uh, and say, OK. And now we see what our axis looks like here. Uh, we've got this thing stretched out a long ways and we see a lot of detail in, in the axis across here uh, that we didn't see before. I could stretch it out even more. I could say, oh, OK, uh, let's come up here under plot and set the plot size. You'll see it changed the X axis to 18 inches out of that 27 inches. And I'm going to say, you know what? I want to make that 57 inches. Now we got a big axis along here and so that's five feet i could print on a i could print five feet of poster paper to print this thing out and look at detail across here and that's all great uh so we're seeing a lot of interesting detail in our our variable star light curve right here and you can you can see what you what you want to do to change that axis length now suppose we're printing this on poster paper and the the vertical axis, it's not just the horizontal axis that we want to change, that we want to stretch this out the vert vertically uh, to fit a little bit more. So I'm going to come up here uh, to plot again, and I'm going to set the, the plot size, and I'm going to make the Y be 25 across there. It's okay. So now I've got the Y stretched out as well. So the X is stretched out and the Y is stretched out. You want to be careful about aspect ratios. You can make this thing look strange. Uh, I wasn't careful there about ma maintaining the same aspect ratio. But you can dig in here and see a lot of detail and, and look at the kind of things you want to do. Um, I'm going to go back and set the plot size uh, back. I didn't pay attention to what it was. I, I think I just added numbers at the front. So I'm going to make it 5.56 and 7.50. And we're back to our our more standard plot size right here. Uh, what happened to our plot? Um, there it is, up at the top of our frame. Okay, and so we're back to where we were when we started. So that's one way you might want to manipulate the axes in Kaleidograph. The other thing I want to show you how to do is it's not wouldn't be uncommon for us to want to make a log log or semi log plot. Uh, so that's done up here under scale. Uh, we can make this a log scale like that. And you see now it's logarithmic up here. Uh, so it really uh, shrunk up the variation that we see across there. But we could make this a log scale too. Uh, now, a lot of times, 
uh, you do a log log plot and you can get um, a power law out of there. Um, and you can see what the power, how the Y axis, what power of the X axis, the Y axis is. And, and, and you could see it would look like a line if there was in the slope of that line would be the power uh, of the of the Y axis. For instance, if Y is equal to X squared, you'd get a line uh, with a slope of two when you did this. But what we'll look at in a future video in a different video is to say we're not necessarily it's probably better to just take the logarithm of the data set. So when we're manipulating, we're going to practice manipulating data sets. We'll do that that way. And that way you can actually fit a line. You know, when we're doing curve fits, we could fit a power law to it. But if you want to figure out uncertainties uh, and some other things, it's just much easier to do with linear fits. So if you can manipulate your data set to get an actual linear fit rather than taking logs of your axes like this, uh, I'd say I'd say by all means do that. So let's go back to a linear scale on there. Ah, uh, looks good. Interesting to see that in the log scale on the x-axis. Uh, but let's get rid of that too. Um, make it a linear scale. And we're back to where we started. So that's a couple of things you might want to do uh, when working with your graphs. Hopefully you're finding some of these videos useful for you. Uh, we'll, we'll work on a couple of other things here shortly. Uh, take care, everybody. We'll have, have more for you soon.